The second edition of the PGA Tour's FedEx Cup Fall begins this week in Napa, California. The title sponsor is a new one as Procore replaces Fortinet, but the venue, Silverado Resort and Spa, remains unchanged. Following the opener are seven events, six of which are returning. Only the Black Desert Championship in Utah is new to the slate. Winners of these fall events receive 500 FedEx Cup points, and all but the 78-player Zozo have full fields which are open to any PGA Tour member in the priority ranking. While any top 50 finishers in the FedEx Cup this past season can participate in fall events, any FedEx Cup points they earn won't matter. They are already exempt into every signature event next season and are merely playing for cash and world ranking points. Players who qualified for the 70-man playoffs are guaranteed fully exempt status on tour, though they'll be among those fighting to finish in the next 10 which comprises numbers 51, 60 in FedEx Cup points after the fall. Now, let us take a detailed look at how the fall series works. The top 125 players in the final standings secure full playing rights on the PGA Tour for the following term. Although those who ended the FedEx St. Jude Championship between 51st and 70th already have their cards locked up as a result of reaching the playoffs. Golfers in positions 126 to 150th after the RSM Classic will earn conditional status on the PGA Tour for the 2025 campaign. Anyone in that category can improve or regain their PGA Tour status via Q School 2. The aim for everyone involved in the FedEx Cup Fall is to finish as high up the rankings as possible, with the top 10 players on the points list at the culmination of the season who are not already eligible for the signature events, qualifying for the first two signature events after the century in the 2025, Pebble Beach Pro-Am and the Genesis Invitational. Anyone inside the FedEx Cup Top 50 is permitted to tee it up over the final eight events, should they wish, with prize money, world ranking points, and, of course, titles still up for grabs. That's all for today. If you'd like to stay updated on more of the latest golf news, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up.